Hi there, I'm, I'm Guy Leach. I've been in this EUC space since 1995. So I've seen quite a few technologies and yeah, I would like to think I'm more or less an expert in terms of knowing what users want, what administrators want and how they all kind of fit together. We're at a very interesting point in the end user computing space at the moment. I've said I've been in it for decades and in the early days and for a long time there was very little choice you, know, you went for a couple of vendors and that was it whereas now there's a lot more choice so it's not the vendors deciding what the features are going to be but the users saying we need this we need that it's going more user centric which is a great place to be because the users are going to hopefully get a better solution ras is a product which allows us to give remote desktops to people but compared with other players in the market it's just incredibly simple to both implement, administer, and also for the users as well to use. It's, you know, it's a breath of fresh air when you've seen the complexity of some of the other solutions out there. If you'd asked me what sort of customers would be ideal for uh, Parallels RAS, let's say you know, three or four years ago, I would have said, oh, yes, the, the, the small companies who perhaps can't afford or don't want to look at Citrix and the complexity of it. Whereas today, I'd say that's a much broader spectrum of customers. So that we can go for the, the higher end number of users and special use cases as well. So it, it's a much broader field and market for, for Parallels than it was before. Well, Parallels as a vendor is one I, I particularly like working with because they listen to what those of us so-called experts feed back into the, you know, into the product teams and the product management and development because I've said we're going very much user centric on this. And it's in the old days, it was very much a case of the administrators say, this is what you're going to get. And that's what you get. And if the users want something else, hmm, sorry, tough, Mr. User. Whereas now it's much more skewed towards the user. So as you know, working paradigms change, then they're going to change within the products. Otherwise, those products just aren't going to be used by the users. Parallels RAS integrating with AVD is a fantastic feature because one of the complexities of these types of technology is that you need to know that, you know, the particular technology you're using from sort of top to bottom. And then when you think, oh, I'm going to adopt another technology, you've then got to do the same again, the training, the administration, the learning with that particular product. But if you can put something in front of it, that's going to just simplify that and you can click, click, click and it does the same things for the different technologies and literally the technology choice is just a, a, a option early on then it just makes it so much easier because it comes technology agnostic what i love about the parallels technology as i said before is just the simplicity of it there is a lot of complex stuff behind the screens a lot of the features that the more complex pieces of software that you can con uh, configure in those as well but take a lot of click running a script or whatever I can just do as an administrator, a couple of clicks in the console, one console as well, not multiple consoles. I can just do them very quickly all in one place. The VIPP program is something I really enjoy being in, partly through the, the interaction with my peers in the industry so we can share ideas, but also because Parallels as a vendor is incredibly interested in getting our feedback because we kind of know how the market works, has worked, what's tried, what's worked, what hasn't and what users want as well. So we give you the real world perspective. Because there's nothing worse than giving the developers free reign to develop something and they come up with something that users don't want. So we're that sanity check in the middle and sounding board so they can ask, so the Parallels people can ask us questions as well as us giving our raw feedback at times.